My name is Bola Ray, and I work with the EIT group. I'm the CEO of a Baden Media Group. It's made up of six radio stations at the moment. We have Star 103.5 FM. We have Kasapa 102.3 FM. We have Live 91.9 FM. We have Ultimate FM in Kumase. And we have Ago FM in Nkoko and Empire FM in Takrade. We're still expanding. And uh, hopefully by December, God willing, we hope to add a television station to our media group. We also own the Heritage newspaper. Well, I'm here to share my life story with you. And as we get ready for the prompter, I guess I can commence. I have a beautiful family that I cherish so much. And my life story is one that's been a checkered one. I was the one that wasn't given the chance at every point in my life. Right from, you know, my academic life at Accra Academy. Many people saw me to be playful. Many people saw me to be, you know, that truant guy. But of course, I had an objective to come out there in life and achieve something. How many of you don't have pictures like this? And this is me when I was uh, roughly like 15, 16, right there at the Accra Academy. I moved on. This is me at Radio Universe. And now, that is me. I've grown into a man, which I cherish. Married with three lovely children. Now let's build some context. As per where I'm coming from and the crawling years. As I was recounting earlier on, it's not been an easy road. Life started for me when it comes to radio at University of Ghana, Radio Universe. At that point in time, I was told in the face that I cannot actually do my national service with a radio station. Matter of fact, I became the first person to do my national service as an intern with Radio Universe way back in 1997. When I went to the National Service Secretariat, I was told bluntly that it can't happen, but persistence actually pushed me. I went there severally till I got it signed by Professor Yanka, then the head of the Linguistics Department at the University of Ghana, and I entered to actually start my national service at Radio Universe because of my love for radio. Yes, I had to start small. And then I moved on to Top Radio. Also, the story to Top Radio was an interesting one. I went there to actually do the late afternoon show because I had made some considerable amount of name back on campus as the guy to really run the late afternoon show. But I was disappointed at Top Radio when I went there and they told me that I can actually handle the late afternoon show, but rather I was going to do 12 midnight to 5 a.m. And that was a graveyard shift. I mean, who listened to radio around that time? But also, it was a slap in the face. But persistence, I didn't give up. Because here is a guy who had lectures at 6.30 a.m. And I have to be on radio from 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. Rush back to campus. So sometimes, you have to sleep down on the streets. And I still drive by such a place like Odor Rice or Feeding School, where sometimes you have to take your blanket along and just sleep by the roadside just, you know, for you to do your program or wait for the next road to catch and get back to campus. But of course, that was perseverance. Then I got my big break. I joined Joy FM in 2003. Certainly, we all know Joy FM, massive radio station. And I went there. I was told back then in 2000 that I can actually, you know, have a place there. I had to then start off from top. So three years on, I got my big break to be on Joy FM on drive time. And I hosted it, of course, for 11 years till I worked out in 2014. While I was there at Joy FM, I actually thought about it, that yes, what should be the end game? It's not just going to be somebody with a CD bag or a DJ playing, so I had to have the end inside. I then set up a little company known as Empire Entertainment. Started for my car boots. There again, I was told that there were a lot of event companies, so I can't actually do it as a 26-year-old back then. But I proved them wrong. It started small for my car boots, Many laughed at me. I remember I went to a company, Vega Foods, to actually go for, you know, and, and bid for uh, a project. And I was asked, where is your office? And I said, well, I wanted to actually tell a lie then. But, you know, the God in me said, tell them the truth. And I told the man that, well, I, I have no office. I opened for my car. And I have, you know, my letterhead, everything in my car. This man was touched with my integrity and sincerity that he helped so the seed for me to get an office. We started off with Empire Entertainment, doing poolside, you know, programs, doing little, you know, uh, kid shows and all of that, that people thought, well, they're not going to go places. But also, there again, perseverance. I didn't give up. We started small. We knew where we were going to. And now we have built great brands like Ghana Meets Niger. 
we built back in the day, and also we do the Hennessy artistry. As you can see, yes, this is Ghana Miss Niger right there on the screen, and it's coming off on May 23rd. I'm inviting all of you to come, let's have fun, and share the joy between these two great countries, and I hope to see you there on that day, come the May 23rd. Well, now, I can comfortably say I've gone from a boy to a man. A story worth telling. It has not been an easy road. And managing all these companies, Kasapa, Empire FM, Ultimate, Live, Star, all part of the EIB group, it's, it's, it's a daunting task. But clearly, we're also ready for that task. And we're here to also inspire the youth that you can do it. And that's my story for you today, of dreams and also of the next chapter. In all of this, like Leila Akita will say, there are valuable lessons to be learned at every stage of life. My point to you this morning, as we are gathered here, is that never give up. Many would say, why do you want to do this? But also tell them, why not? If you've been given the chance, be empowered that, yes, you can move on to the next chapter. And that is where I want to share with you now. It takes one to be confident, and it takes one to be bold to say, I'm going to press on. But in all of this, you have to start small. Yes, dream big, but start small. What can you access? For me, it was Radio Universe. I pushed. I break, actually had to you know, break down the door and push and enter. When they said to me that you can't do your national service out there. It was my dream back in school to one day work at the BBC or even visit the BBC. In 2005, I got the chance to go to Bush House. And on that day, I wept. When I entered the Bush House just as a visitor and I said hello to the front desk, a producer of a program known as White Label was there and he heard my voice. He said, well... You are from Ghana. Can you record a voiceover for us? And that gave me my biggest break. I became the first and only African to have hosted Top of the Pops on the BBC. That is how it is. If you are confident, if you know that, yes, you can do it, you should access it. What can you do? Talk to people. Reach out. Share your dream with others. You never know where the help will come. And, of course, I'd like to recommend this. It's a great book, $100 Startup, and it's something that you can also check it out to inspire you. Secondly, work hard. Never give up. Push on. Press on. Yes, I love to have my fun, but I also love to work hard. I always tell my workers and my colleagues that you work hard, you play hard. Never give up. So push. Be diligent in your work. Let your work speak for itself. And also be disciplined. In everything that you do, yes, you can have the fun. Yes, you can share your stories with people. But of course, as people gather in here, let's be disciplined in everything, in all our ways. And certainly, that will help us. Also, as we move on, I'd like to recommend No Excuses, The Power of Self-Discipline by Brian Tracy. Another great you know, book that you can actually, a resource that you can fall on. And like I said earlier on, let's all dream big. Let nothing stop you. If people are going to the moon, if people are creating stuff, if we have Bill Gates, if we have great people who are doing wonderful stuff, what is our excuse? I'm a little chap from a little village in the central region known as Agna Sabah, where nobody will give you a chance, where people thought that you can actually make it, but you have to break the molds. You have to push on because I believe that nothing is impossible. If you can dream it, you can certainly do it. And that's what we're here to also share with you. Yes, with this, another great resource is Think Big by Ben Carson. And I believe that many of you know his story. It's worth reading and you can check that one out. In all of this, I say to people that people matter. People do matter, no matter how small, no matter, I mean, the fact that they've never stepped in the classroom, they matter. I listen to everyone. So sometimes people will see me buying Wachi, Anima, just with the people out there on Newtown. The next time I might be at Melvin Pick or the Golden Chili having a meeting. You never know who you're going to pick the next big idea from. So it's important to respect and be nice to people. For me, I must say that apart from God, Another factor that has brought me this far is respect and being nice to people. It doesn't hurt. It pays to be nice. And also, know when to say no. There are many of us, that is our flaw. We always, almost always, we say yes to almost everything. But please, let's be firm. Let's be strong. Let's know when to say no. And with this as well, Dale Carnegie says it best with how to win friends and influence people. Well, the review. In all of this, clearly... I want you to understand where you're coming from. If you're here today, ask yourself, where am I coming from? How has the journey been like for me? What got you here? 
won't get you further. So clearly, you have to, you know, put in that effort. And also remember that talent is not enough. It's not just about talent. Let's get some education. Let's get some training. Let's really build on the forces that we have, and clearly we'll go far. And remember to rest. I said that I play hard, I work hard, but I love my fun as well. So my Friday nights are clearly out there for me to, you know, have a great time. And I'll recommend the seven habits of highly effective people, powerful lessons in personal change. As I bring it all up, I really want to share this with you, and I mean it. That whatever it is that you dream, you can achieve it. Let no one stop you. As you move on to the next chapter, like I have done, dream big. Yes, start small, but let no one bring you down. When they say, why are you going to do this? Please ask them, why not? And clearly, we'll all be at the top. I want to get to the finish line with all of you here and not alone. Thank you very much.